The F-35 made its Sun and Fun debut on Thursday, and curious taxpayers will be able to examine it from about 20 feet away on the static display in the Warbirds area of the show. Hello everyone, it's Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from Sun and Fun here in Lakeland. And Captain Daniel Haley flew the aircraft in from Eglin Air Force Base and offered some observations on the evolving result of the Air Force's most expensive procurement to date and why it's worth every penny. This is the F-35A, the Air Force model. Uh, it's the Air Force's newest jet, uh, stealth fighter, fifth generation fighter. Um, it's uh, flying it out of Eglin Air Force Base right now, and um, we're training new pilots to come in and learn how to fly the F-35, so we're taking guys from uh, the A-10, the F-15, the F-16, uh, F-22, uh, so that we can combine all that knowledge and, and train them on the F-35 so we can build the F-35 community. Uh, as we move forward here towards uh, the initial operation, operational capability of the F-35. So we've been flying the jet for about two and a half years. Uh, it's a really good airplane. It's grown a lot in the last two and a half years that I've been flying it, and it's going to continue to grow from there. It's got a lot of power. It uh, can climb really well. Um, it's got uh, you know almost 40,000 pounds of thrust and max afterburner, so that's a lot of power behind the jet. So it uh, gets up and goes pretty quick. So it's it's a lot of fun to fly, and it's a uh, it's a really good jet. You know, it's, nothing is invisible. It's meant to delay uh, acquisition, uh, which allows you to strike first. Is basically the best way to put it. 